Previously on Night's Quest. When we get to Garka, if y'all could call me friend maker, that would really help. Quis put Banus into Christopher. Our best way to talk to Hanus is by talking to your dad. All this pressure of, of me going home has made me really think about my family. Hey guys, welcome back to Night's Quest. Um, we're excited for another new episode. I can't wait to get recorded. Uh, <laughs> shutting down. Oh no! Battery replacement oh. needed. Jake, I forgot to charge Jamie. Ah, oh, damn it! Power fuck. level one percent. Ah, I was so distracted. Unit will go into sleep mode. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I mean, I mean, self destruct. I guess. Oh no! Self destruct. <laughs> oh, I thought you said self destruct. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that battery needed battery. See, this is when 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 we've had ever Loss. like desert sickness, Jamie. That's just when his battery was low. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Chipper voice software not activated. <laughs> Chipper voice software not found. <laughs> right. Wow, I really thought one of my other co-hosts was gonna like go with the bit and give me batteries, but I guess that's not happening, so welcome back uh, to Night's Quest. I did. Oh, no, I, I, I mailed them. It's just going to take a while. Oh, okay. Like, the post office guy hasn't showed up yet. <laughs> Hold on, let me run upstairs, and I'll take the microphone with me. Oh, good. I'm running. Yeah, I'm it's moving. It's footstep sounds. Hold on, can you, can, you hit, can you hit the microphone a couple times? Yeah, yeah. Just like... I'm running. Got to open the package. Hold on, fully work. Here we go. That just came in the mail. It, it, it was shipped express, so it okay. got here really quickly, yeah. Yep, I got it, yeah. even though there was, like, literally 20 feet of snow on the ground. Yeah. I got here. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm upstairs. I'm, there's yeah. Jamie, and I just gotta open up the the, the hatch. <laughs> Put in the battery. I'll oh, take out the old ones. Put in the new ones. Put it in. And then, um, turn off and on again. Okay. And welcome back to Night's Quest. Um, I'm excited that we're getting to Garka, so I've been looking forward to that. Um, <laughs> how, how are you guys feeling? I feel like this cold open is going really great. How are you guys feeling? I that feel was... like maybe you have the worst type of batteries. Like, <laughs> like it sounded from here like it was either D batteries or those 9-volt batteries with the prongs, oh, no. the ones that you never have when you need them. Yeah, yeah. It was car. It was actually a car battery. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow, <laughs> Jamie, maybe you need to get your you need to get your alternator checked. <laughs> maybe that's what it was—just the alternator. Yeah, I mean it's been cold out, so that's why. I <laughs> oh <laughs> sure, the battery. Yeah, right. Of course. Yeah. Anyway, night's <laughs> quest. <laughs> night's <laughs> quest. That was that was a quest right there. It was. It was. Let me just I'm, check I'm out of that. breath. I'm back in my room now. By the way, we're yeah. recording. Yeah. Oh, by, by the way, Nathan, where did you get your extra long microphone cable? I need to get one of those. Uh, <laughs> it's actually Bluetooth. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> the whole the whole thing is Bluetooth. Recording, hearing it, the the audio itself, all of it's Bluetooth. <laughs> the hearing is blue. Hold on, let me take off my headphones. Yeah, I can still hear it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a, I, actually my teeth are blue. I am a cyborg as well. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> they're 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 all blue teeth. Yeah. Okay, we're in the Orwell jungle, but we're about to make it to Garka. We got one day's worth of travel left, and we're going to make it a quick one. Oh, for sure, for sure. One. Because of what Truhas said, and because I yeah. want to get there now. Garka. Yeah, I, I bet Grog does, too. Yeah, I think Grog sets the pace. He sets the pace um, as a rush pace. Oh, yeah. Um, and I will roll the de 20. De 20. Seven. Okay. So that just means that it's difficult terrain today. Um, lots of thick vines, pretty rocky as you guys are traveling. Um, but again, you're rushing through it, you're powering through it. You, um, and so those two things combined means there's not really much time to do other things. But you guys can tell that Grorg is excited. He's a mixture of like, you can see that he's he is happy, but also a little bit of nerves. You can tell. I mean, you guys know him well enough. 
Now, as you guys are approaching Garka, it's a very different experience compared to how you guys have approached other cities and towns. Normally, you can see the town in the distance, mm-hmm. right? You can tell, oh, there is the city. There it is. Sure. Um, but as you guys approach Garka, that is not the case. Um, because the jungle is so thick, the trees are so tall, the canopy is dense, uh, especially today's journey, it's been um, even rougher than usual. So you're not able to see the village off in the distance or the town as you get closer. But you know you're getting close because Grorg is now leading. It's not Grilta leading. It is Grorg who is leading. He knows uh-huh. where you guys are. He knows this area. And eventually, you do arrive. You do arrive at Garka. So when you get there, again, at first, you don't even notice that you've stopped being in just pure jungle. Right. Because right. the town itself is not super imposing. It, it's not like, ah, now we have these gigantic buildings made of stone and lumber. Um, the houses themselves are very simple, very quaint, but it's not because they're poor. It's just because they're very practical and, and built out of just what they need to be. Okay. Uh, a lot of the buildings are maybe only one story. Some are two stories, but most are one story tall. Uh, a lot of open floor plans, as there's no need to have a lot of walls. Um, they have a couple rooms for like privacy or when the bugs get bad, but most of the houses themselves are very open. Cool. Mm. The roads themselves are very simple and plain with light paving. You can still tell where they are because they're being traveled by the people, but it's not like very clear, this is the road. For the most part, the whole village itself seems to be, the best way I can put it is like it's in harmony with nature, right? The Uh There's plants growing like all over the place, but it's not wild and barbaric, but it's also not like super tended gardens. Like you can tell this, these plants are supposed to be here and they're tended, but it's not like a very clean garden that you would see like in a palace or... Um, even in America here. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, just okay. like the plants here are cared for and they're not being messed with. Uh, you also see some really intentional plants. Like there's still benches and lampposts, but the bench looks like a tree that was grown out of the ground and then bent at a sharp angle. And then the branches curve up to create the backrest of the seat. Whoa. Um, the lamppost yeah. is just a tree growing upward and the branches open up so you could place a light source within. <laughs> there are vines on the houses, but again, it's not like a ruin um, that the vines are taking over. It's more like that's just part of the architecture as right, the vines are growing here. So yeah, it's very quaint, very simple, but also very beautiful and kind of just blends in with the rest of the jungle. Other things that you're seeing is that it is prim- only, there are only orcs here. There are only green orcs. There's no orfs. Okay. There's no other races. It's just orcs uh, as they're moving about, going throughout their day. Uh, and they all seem very friendly to each other. It seems like it's kind of got that Goldon vibe of like everybody kind of knows everybody. It's about that same size of town. Uh, so everyone's being friendly, chatting with each other, um, just hanging out um, in the beautiful landscape. Uh, and there's lots of animals running around too. You see a couple Bainai, um, some Duhai. Oh no. Uh, you know, wah, 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 wah. Um, because they're, that's like their food and their pets. Uh, you see those. You see some other, I think we had them, called them ground eagles, is what we called them. Yeah, we called them the fat season. groundhog. Yeah. So like some like chicken like creatures uh, moving around. So you see a lot of the animals just kind of moving around. They're not like fenced in or caged in. Uh, mm-hmm. An animal that is new that you note is you see a couple of orcs riding giant frogs um, oh, as their way of yes. moving around the town. Yeah, do they um, still hop? Yep. <gasps> and it helps them to hop over the large roots of the trees so they're able to move through. Oh my god. Difficult terrain easily. That is not a chill, peaceful mode of transportation. That's like big oh. jumps then. They got big jumps, but oh you can goodness. see the saddles are like not rigid so they can kind of like adjust to the hopping of the frog so you're not wow, okay. swaying quite as much. Uh, so yeah, otherwise it's really chill. Everyone seems to be like nicely relaxed and the only building that seems to be different from the rest of these very simple thatch wooden homes which again, they're thatch and sticks not because they're poor but because that's just all it needs to be. That's that's like the best material for it. I gotcha. Uh, there I gotcha. is a larger building uh, in the center of town that the best way I can describe it, picture like a, a Mayan or an Aztec um, a step pyramid. A step pyramid. Ah, okay. Um, a step pyramid that has five steps, and instead of having a square as the base, it has a star shape as a base, a five-pointed star base. This is very Super Mario Galaxy. I love it. <laughs> yeah, so it's got that in the center, and, it, and that is made out of stone. That is clearly weathered and older than everything else is here. 
Um, but at each one of the points of the stars, there are doors that you could enter into this larger building. Um, wow, so yeah, okay. that's the vibe of Garka. Very friendly, uh, very chill, until you guys show up. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And so our hodgepodge group walks into town. We've done this a couple times, so you're kind of used to it, but you stand out. It's like when you were in the Oasis or even when you walked to the Beacon, you oh, stand yeah. out. You're shadowless, you're humans, you're blue, you you just, you're different. Jonathan has, like, stopped feeling, um, uh, he stopped feeling, like, sheepish about it. Like, he, he doesn't feel weird, um, when people yeah. look at him anymore, uh, just for, for timeliness sake. Because of Flash like, Way. Yeah. <laughs> he literally, he literally can't waste time worrying about it because he cannot physically change that fact anymore, so he just, he doesn't care anymore. Cool. Yep. Yeah, I like that outlook. People aren't being, like, rude to you, but they are looking at you. They're staring. Maybe a couple of the orcs, you know, give you a little bit of a wider berth. But they're also, you can hear come, some of them chatting, being like, you know, as they, they kind of like, you see a couple of them point at like Grorg and Grilta. Like maybe to like recognize them. You're not quite sure. You oh, can't okay. hear what they're saying. So you are now in town of Garka. Quiz is going to open Christopher. Okay. Oh, actually, I think as he does oh, that, no. Grorg is going to walk over there. Oh, He's no. like, so I meant to say this earlier, but we were kind of rushing today. Uh, the people of, of Garka, they love. I mean, we, they love the heinous gods. Oh, no. <laughs> so I I am uncertain how people will feel. And even though it's just Manus. I mean, when, he's not a favorite, but he's still one of them. I don't know how people feel about you having one of their gods in your bag. So. Oh, my God. I forgot we still had him. I completely okay. forgot about and, that. And uh, uh, Quiz uh, like opens the flap and goes, "Do you want to come out? You want to come out now?" <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, no thanks. All right. Well, you heard him. Wait, where are we? Oh, we're in Garka now. What's the Garka? Uh, it's the town, I think. Oh, do they have? Do they have food? Uh, Quest looks up at Grog questioningly. Yes, yo, guess they have food. Yeah, they got food. Oh, okay. Is it good? Is it good food? Chris looks up at Grog questioningly. <laughs> yes, yes, it's good. It's very, very good food. Apparently, it's good. <laughs> okay, when we get to the food part, I'll, um... Where are we again? Uh, Chris just, like, closes the, the <laughs> lid of Christopher. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, now, Trouble, you did say, yeah. my god, I am curious, who is your god? What? <laughs> we haven't talked about this. Oh, that was, I mean, in, in that particular case, I was just trying to emulate some of y'all language like oh, okay. i pick up a I I, I I i try out different phrases see how i like them sure. um but you don't have you don't have a god no because i've got one if you're interested i mean god. maybe um let's see trouble would have been there in animal form for the whole sim interlude yep, but, right but did he come into sim's realm or was he just playing in the water i don't think he came into the sim space he was just hanging out in the in the oasis. Yeah, because I think we left the pets outside. I mean, I mean, maybe. I mean, it's yeah. It, like hearing about it in the show, in the song form, that was interesting. Kind of makes me wish I hadn't just like hung out and dog paddled around in the water for you know an hour. <laughs> like maybe I am blue, so I, I am I am like connected in terms of color. Weird you are color blue because of the power things. of Sims. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll talk. We'll talk about. Yeah, we'll this. talk. We'll talk. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just. <laughs> preparing myself to tell my family that I follow a different religion now. So, oh, yeah, yeah Eloise be... says, oh, yeah, Grog, where is your family? Where are they? Well, kind of all over. I mean, if, what do you mean by family? Like my parents and my siblings? They're probably down the street here at our at our house. But as far as like people that are just my family, kind of like most of, well, it's like a third of Garka's probably related to me somehow. Oh, <laughs> Well, what are we doing just standing here on the outskirts of town? I mean, come on, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, are you, so we're just going to my, my folks' house then? We're just going right to it? I mean, well, I, mean you wanna... I feel like maybe we, just, we don't just stand in the middle of the road. <laughs> yeah, we can go somewhere else first if that'd help you be, you know, more, we're more quite confident. A, we're quite a large group at this point, just kind of taking up the majority <laughs> of the space. <laughs> we do stand out a little bit. I mean, I don't, but like all of you guys do, so... I have two votes for food. Two votes for food. Anybody else vote for food? I mean, I, I like food. Food's good. Is there bread? I gotta ask. Is there bread? <laughs> y- yes, we have bread. Like, it's it's a it's not that weird of a pl- we have food and bread, guys. Like, you don't have to like. Oh no, I just meant food. Now we go to food. 
Yeah, I mean, I think it'd be good to get us some food. I do, I do worry that it might turn into a whole. Uh, <laughs> lo- <laughs> like last time, we just casually decided to go get some food. It really turned into a whole operation. It did. It did turn into a whole thing. We don't have that here. Like you won't become indentured servants to a restaurant here. <laughs> That's good. That's good news. Yeah, and we do have money, so that helps. Well, we have less money now, but we have money. <laughs> Okay, we'll get food then. I guess we're getting food first. (laughs) (laughs) This is. I'll take you guys to my favorite place. Oh my god. Okay. And what is that, Nathan? (laughs) Let's let's open the Discord see if anyone has any good. Oh, okay. Suggestions. Oh, that's a great idea. I love that this is an option for us now. Oh, actually, (laughs) we so we don't have a a ton of name suggestions. Patrons, come on, give us more stuff. Did you? But I do like one. (laughs) Oh, let's go to Randall's. Huh. Uh, he's an orc. His name is Randall Salad Fingers. No, oh, no, no. He's he's got a vegetarian shop, oh my uh, God. but it's so good. So, are you gonna do the voice or? I'm so angry. Uh, one of y'all can be. <laughs> I'm not doing that voice. I'm not. No. No. Not happening. I guess not I have to be good Christian I got, podcast. No. I'll do it. <laughs> okay. I'll do it. I can. Those are big. Those are big <laughs> fingers to fill. <laughs> I can do it. All right, so he takes you to <laughs> Randall's, done this. which is, again, it's just a, the restaurant itself is kind of like in a, a large patio with some gardens, and there's like a small fountain, provides some ambient noise, uh, some trellises with flowers growing over them, some with some large lilies um, of different cool. colors uh, yeah. blossoming, and you get there, and you, know, you ask for a table, and Gorg says, uh, uh, yeah, table for how many of us are there? I'm not. I'm not opposed. I'm not opposing this. I. D- I just do. How much of this do we want to act out bit by bit, slowly? You know, like uh, we'll just. He gets you a table. <laughs> yeah, we'll move faster. He gets a table for the nine of you. <laughs> for all of us. For all of you. For the all. And yeah. um, you know, there's a whole bunch of vegetarian options. Lots of really good salads, some fruit platters, oh, yeah. things you don't recognize. It is all in Orkish, so Gorg oh, and sure, sure. do translate for you guys. Let's just, just because I know this is fun, pick two dishes that your people order. So not um, everyone. Ooh, okay. I, I'm deferring to you for Quist, because Quist doesn't ask for help translating. He just points at something and says that. Sure. Okay. But I'm saying, like, <laughs> you can still create what it is, though. Like For sure, for sure. Uh, I don't have the menu of, of Randall's what? place. Yeah, I don't have that. You don't have the menu of this place we just made up? No, I don't. The, the thing that Rainer orders ends up being... Part of it is meat. Part of it is a a a. There's no meat. There's no meat. Oh, because it's it's vegetarian. Vegetarian restaurant. he said it's vegetarian. I right, yeah yeah yeah. Uh, let's see here. Other than that, it's all I'll go. No no no, for sure. Part of it is it's kind of beans that are like dark purple, and they have a they have kind of like a sweet taste to them, and they're very. There's something he hasn't tried before, and that's really interesting. And there's like there's something that's sort of like coconut. It's like a, a little bit like that texture that has the kind of like light, refreshing taste like that. Yeah, I'll get mine. Is like a it's a large mango. It's nice. Like that's how we start, but it's like maybe a foot and a half in diameter, and it's just kind of been like so almost like a cantaloupe. That's like a cantaloupe size, um, but it's got all of the seeds are inside of it. So like they serve yeah. you the half of the fruit, um, and then you just kind of scoop out the seeds and the uh, fruit with a spoon. Um, what oh, okay. you notice is a little rusty. Oh, uh, I I am confused and perturbed by the fact that you highlighted that fact to us. I don't know why you... If we're going to have salad, it's <gasps> salad fingers. Oh, right. I yep. forgot. Okay. Yep. Okay. For those of you who don't know who salad fingers is, like in real life, oh. don't look it up. Why just go we, with it. Why are we doing well, you, this? You, you realize you've just sent every yeah. listener to their doom. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. This is me begging you don't look up That's an figures. open call to look it up. Oh, yeah. The more <laughs> you saying, tell them it. to stay away. Uh, Jake, you come up with just one dish. What's one dish? Uh, it is uh, meat. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is. Uh, it's like a very large uh, leaf that has been uh, cooked in the ground. Um, yeah. So like dig out a hole, like put some hot coals in the bottom, yeah, and then like yeah, cover yeah. it up to cool. cook it over time. So it's wrapped around um, some like root vegetables, like um, some like potato looking things, some carrot looking mm. things, 
Um, just a, just a lot of like herbs and spices added to it. Yes. It's almost got like a stewy kind of texture. It's got like love that. lots of juices and stuff, but it's just, it's wrapped in this very large. That um, was probably my favorite one so far. Like I would actually it's really order good. That. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think everyone's enjoying the food, yeah. uh, enjoying the ambiance, and I got. I mean, I have to. The owner uh, does come out. Fuck. Um, oh my god, we got to do it. We don't have to. We got to do it. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> the name was submitted by a patron. Thank you, Xcomer, for this name. And he goes, I hope you guys are enjoying the food. Oh, no. And Grog's like, hello, salad fingers. He's like, oh, is that Grog, son of Anus Slayer? I don't I don't love that this is bleeding over into our fantasy podcast world now. And, like, that's just a real thing in Garka. Sal Fingers is here. Yeah. Yeah, Jonathan is visibly uncomfortable. <laughs> I think everyone is. Except Definitely. Greta. Greta's not picking up that vibe. <laughs> also, trouble is not because he's not paying attention. He has something else on his mind that I'll get to in a bit. Oh, okay. Is it meat? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Now that I think about it, I, I think I made a joke earlier about how Trouble is, like, disgusted by the fair food in the Beacon, and he's declared himself a vegetarian, so this actually works out very you did, well. yeah. Oh, so right. Like, yeah. yeah, you did say that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I think Sal Fingers then says, uh, Grog, uh, what brings you back to Garka? <laughs> oh, man, do you know this guy? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, um, oh no. <laughs> wow. Grog, you just... <laughs> Yeah, everyone, this is, um, Sal Fingers. Uh, he's, um, my second cousin. <laughs> are you, are you the, uh, are you the, the famous named Randall? Uh, yes, I am Randall Salad Fingers. <laughs> That's me. This is my cooking. I prepare all the food myself. I like to <sighs> touch the food. No. <laughs> I think... Jonathan Jonathan leads over to Rainer and goes, "Hey, uh maybe the yeah. the fewer questions we ask, uh the the least amount of time possible this yeah. man can be talking to us is probably better maybe." No, no, no I think you're right. It, I I wanted to be polite because I felt bad that we were making fun of him, but now I don't feel bad about that anymore. Also, I just realized that Salad Fingers technically fits the orc name conventions and I'm so yep. angry. Yep. <laughs> I just I that's not what I wanted. You know, we always ask, like, what do you want to happen in Night's Quest? What are you hoping comes up later in Night's Quest? And, like, this is not on that list. Uh, Quiz opens the bag. Quiz oh, opens okay. Christopher. <laughs> oh. And then Bane says, is there food? Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, but there's definitely food. Yep, there's food. I think he pokes, he pokes his head out. He pokes his head <laughs> out. He's like, oh, nice. And Randall's like, uh-huh. what? <laughs> <laughs> this is very Mickey oh. Mouse. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Oh, we gotta have a Mickey Mouse character voice eventually. We don't. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> It'd be more pleasant than this one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Randall says, uh, what? what is that? Oh, yeah, Trouble is still eating, and he's just like, wait, wait, we got him in a bag. He put him right in there. Yeah. Yeah, we got Banus in a bag. <laughs> Third do. I think Grog, like, normally would not have been like this, but he just hates Randall. He's like, yeah, wow. we got got um, your favorite god in a bag. <laughs> That's right. Hey, everyone. Uh, Randall's favorite of the five is Banus. <laughs> let, let let that sink in. Huh. That's what kind of guy he is. El- Eloise, Eloise, uh, not not really knowing where it's coming from, uh, she judges him a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Randall, could you tell everyone what rank you are? Uh, I'm a, I'm a Banus. Uh, uh, because I couldn't stand to kill after that. Yep. That's where he's at. Grog, like, do you, we don't have to. Stay. We could go if you want. Like, we don't have to stay here. This does not seem like it's a f- fun time for you. I'm remembering some of the reasons I left. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this, is all, this is all being said out loud right in front of him. Now, Grok, you did choose this restaurant. Like, you picked this one. <laughs> yeah, you, you brought us here, buddy. You chose to come back here. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what you guys are talking about. This risotto is delicious. Yeah. I mean, the food is... I, I can't deny the food is great. <laughs> You jest. Uh, uh. Randall, you don't. You're just so awkward. He likes saying you jest. <laughs> Salad fingers, uh, thank you for the food. We will pay on the way out. <laughs> to answer your question, yes, we are back. But not to stay. Maybe. We got We got things to do. Okay, I will tell the rest of the town. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just gonna go tell everybody. Wow. That Grog uh, is back. <laughs> 
Do you have a, a full name yet? I do. I do, Randall. And I'm not telling you. <laughs> First, I'm going to tell my dad. So... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want Randall Salad Fingers to be the one right, to right. take that like reveal away from me for sure. So goodbye, Randall. You know I prefer uh, Salad Fingers, <laughs> and I don't. All right, all right. So then Randall leaves. Wow. <laughs> just, just so you all know, I really, I was really tempted to ask him how he got that name, and I didn't. I didn't do that for you. I did that as a favor for you all, just so you know. I appreciate that so I'm much. I'm so Trouble. proud of you, Trouble. <laughs> this is the most self control Banus is like, yes, very good, very good. <laughs> Banus is like, has his hand coming out, and he'll like grab just something on the table and then eat it and be like, this is good too. Can, can you guys have come back and get more food? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. But I'm, I'm your god. Oh, uh, you're not mine anymore. It's just so. a flat denial. Oh my god. Wow. Well, hold on. Wait. Do you just want to? Do you just want to get out, and then you can get whatever you want, and you can stay here? I don't know how Banus feels about being in the bag. Like, just yeah. to be honest, like I don't know whether he wants to be in the bag None or not. None of us do. None of us know the answer so, to these things. Just because it's funnier. Oh, I like the bag. <laughs> it's pretty nice in here. Okay. Um, well, just just if you see like some Bani, um, let me know, and I can. I just gotta like say hello oh. to the the Bani every now because they're my. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's he grabs more food. <laughs> <laughs> They're my something. The world may never know. <laughs> Children, lovers, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> world may never know. I forget. Does he still look noticeably different than the other uh, the other Banus? Not when he's in Banus form. Ah, okay. Yeah. So right now he does look like the spirit of Banus form. So he's he's more. Has a humanoid face with a flat nose. Oh, okay. And he's just got some red hair. You did notice that actually too when you when you arrived in Garka, a lot of people were wearing coats made out of banus fur or like duchas fur. Yeah, like a brownish um, reddish. Yeah, brownish fur. reddish vests, brownish bluish for the duchas, the stripes. I mean. All right. Well, I guess that was kind of the best introduction to Garka that I could think of. There's a lot of people here, and uh, I love a lot of them. Are we are we outside and, the restaurant yet? Yeah, yeah, let's see. Yeah, we're out of the restaurant, sure. Can I, uh, on that note, uh, the people of this town, can I ask you something real quick? How did the, how did, uh, the people here get over their fear? W- what do you mean? Uh, the fear of, uh, taming and riding the nightmare beasts. <laughs> oh! Trouble, trouble, have you seen, have you not seen frogs before? What's a frog? Well, like that, but a lot smaller. There's smaller ones of those? Do they still jump ten feet in the air? I mean, no. I mean, and they, they eat, like, bugs and shit. Like, it's not... Oh. Yeah, like, it's not a big deal. I mean, these ones don't eat. I mean, there are some big bugs. They look like a big deal. Have you seen their eyes? Look uh, at their no, eyes. I, saw, I, I have not seen one. Full disclosure, I have not seen one larger than... And Jonathan, like, approximates, a, like, the something that yeah, fits yeah. within the size of his hand. I've not seen anything bigger than this. This is this is a very alarming size for a frog to be. Oh for yeah, me. for sure. Same here. Yeah, I mean, I think maybe once I found one that was like, like maybe the palm of my hand, but even that was pretty big. Oh, I remember that. That was a good frog. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good day. That was a good day. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, in the lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, frog day. Never forget. So <laughs> compared to that, <laughs> I this need is a step to know up. as Jake. <laughs> does that mean that? Goldon has an annual frog day, or no. is that just what Leroy has named it in his own like calendar yeah. of timekeeping memories? Jo- Jonathan, Rainer, and Leroy have their own holiday <laughs> that they call Frog Day. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Actually, guys, we missed Frog Day this year. It was earlier this summer. Oh, I, I completely forgot with all this stuff happening. Ah, I guess yeah, wow. we'll celebrate Frog Day today. <laughs> this is... Can we ride the big frogs? Uh, you do need a lot of training. It's it's tough. It's tough. They're tough to ride. I was gonna say I don't. I'm I'm shocked that they're not falling off and dislocating their limbs every time they jump like that. It's incredible. Yeah, you have to be at least a duhas to before you can start learning. So right, right. Eloise kind of like gets a little sly grin, <laughs> 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 and or doesn't say anything yet, but just kind of just kind of smiles because she can. She's she's. She could learn to write. Yep. Oh, okay, I do need help with a name for these suckers. Because oh, my okay. name was like, oh, they're frogs and they're big like a bull. So I was like, bullfrog. And I'm like, Shit. I mean, that is that is That's cute. That's already a name. 
What if we just call them Brogs? Brogs? <laughs> For Big Frog. That's so funny. <laughs> I love that. No, Jake, what were you going to say? Yours is I, doubtless no, was, yours is better. I was going to say I was going to say Forks. Oh, I like forks? that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like F O R K? Yeah. <laughs> Does that mean does that mean that forks as a concept don't exist because that would be way too confusing? <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose that doesn't I was I was meaning like the orcs of the frogs, you know, like Oh, like, like very large. Orcs. That makes yeah. more sense. Forks. <laughs> How about this? We combine both of them. Oh no. They're big frog orcs, brooks. 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 That's my favorite Icelandic singer. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, so these are these are brooks. Big frog orcs. <laughs> I mean, that's it's it sounds better in right, in right. Orcish. Like it has a deeper meaning than big frog orc, but yeah, it's something that's lost in translation. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those things. PB is uh, terrified. He's he's oh, just for not sure. for some. Re- I don't know why, but for some reason, this is the creature that has activated his like Fight cat seeing <laughs> cat seeing a scary dog instinct. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Chubb is cool with it. <laughs> Gives it a thumbs up. Yep. So I I do think that needs to be a sticker. Oh yeah, for sure. That's so funny. <laughs> I see it in my head every time. Like either either a just a dog paw that has been like anthropomorphized. I think it's got to have the like. <laughs> yeah, it's got to have it's got to have the golden retriever with yeah, the yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, so he's like, yeah, uh, I think my dad has a, a brook. So I also got to write down this name. Uh, we are spelling it. Yeah, B R O R C S. Brooks. <laughs> Brooks. Actually, you know what? I want a G in there. Bro, it's B R O R G C S. Brooks. Brooks. Wow, that Brooks. is hard to say. Yeah, it's an Orcish word. It's yeah, it's easier in Orcish. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, so anyway, uh, prelude over. Yeah. <laughs> I am. I am. I am happy to be back here, but also it's just there's a lot hitting me at once. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's okay, Grork, we're here with you, so you don't need to worry about being judged by the people you hold dearly. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm kind of torn because, like, I want to give you the time you need for this big moment, but also we do need to, like, I mean, we, we need to talk to your dad to try to save the country and stuff. Wait, do you, hold on, are you wanting to go and, like, see your parents by yourself and then we, like, show up later or, like, hmm? No, I think it'd be better if we were all together. I think just for the sake of having a podcast and an audio medium, it'd be more interesting. <laughs> Instead of having we it be me there. talking to me. <laughs> uh, I think it's would be a more palatable story. Also, I need your support, your moral support, for sure. This is going to be a hell of a meeting. <laughs> yeah, I also, I don't know how many of my family members are home right now. Oh, my <laughs> Neither God. Neither do we. It's a mystery. <laughs> this is going to be fun, yeah. We have a we have a big house. It's one of those houses like you don't move out, you just build your own portion to it. Wow. So it's kind of like a big I have never complex. heard of that concept in my life, so it's fucking wild to me that you said it so casually and I love it. Jamie, That's have amazing. You ever, have you ever played the game What Remains of Edith Finch? No, I don't think so. That sounds a okay. little familiar though. I've definitely heard of it. Nathan reminded me of that. It's a, it's a similar thing. They like have a house okay. and like just kept expanding upon it upwards and outwards as like new family members. Wow, were. okay. <laughs> I think it was more common in like I know I, f- I feel like the Israelites did something like that like in that culture. Wow, okay. Um but I could be wrong. Yeah, so I, I want you guys there for moral support. Also, I think it'll help so, okay, so, like, my dad, he loves me. Gotta get it out of the way. He's a great dad, but he's kind of like, you'll see, he's a pretty big deal here. He's not in charge of the town. Okay. But, like, whatever he wants to happen, happens, and everyone loves him. So, oh, okay, so he's in charge of the town. Yeah. Everything but <laughs> tight. Yeah. And so, like... It's my favorite unelected position. Yeah. He, uh... He kind of wants all of his kids to be also really important. And so that was part of, like, the pressure why I never picked my name, never picked a weapon, because, like, I didn't want to let him down. So obviously now I have. But, like, my weapon I picked is my fist. And my name, I like it. Great name, Eloise. Thank you. But I don't know how he'll feel about it. And I've also left the family religion. And so... And I'm still only a Dujas. So, like, there's a lot. We also need to ask him a really big favor. 
which I'm sure he'll do because he loves me and loves the world in general and doesn't want it to be destroyed. But like, wow. I'm just trying to figure out like how I'm going to like, because he's going to ask. He's going to ask me these questions. You know, it's like when you see a extended family, they're like, so how's your life? What are you doing for a job? Will there be mm-hmm. grandkids? Things like, yes, you know. <laughs> so anyway, that Damn. prefaced out of the way. Any questions before we dive into it? No, I don't think so. That's, yeah, that'd um, be a, a hard no. Yeah. Banus raises his hand. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the, the flap, the flap of Christopher yeah. kind of like folds over. Wait, 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 wait. Like right before Banus starts saying whatever, Rainer is having a moment of like kind of flashing back to how things are with his own dad and like wanting to impress him. But also there's all this other complicated stuff and it's not exactly the same, but enough of it is similar that he really feels a connection and he wants to say like, hey, man, I really I, I really feel that. That's tough. And before he can say anything, Banus starts talking. <laughs> And, and Quist, Quist high fives the hand as it comes out of Christopher. <laughs> and Banus is like, oh, why did you hit my hand? <laughs> you hit my hand, that really hurt. And Banus then unleashes a Banus babble. Oh, no. So I was wondering uh, if we could get more food because that was pretty good, but I wanted more of the food. And I was kind of curious about where, uh, the, uh, where, how big is the bag? Like, I keep walking around the bag, but there's no end to the bag, but there is an end to the bag. And I was kind of hoping that we could get another Banus. But, like, another, like, a, like one like me? Is there another one like me? I've never seen one, but there's got to be because there's other ones of you. Is there? Are you the only one? Actually, I don't know. We're all individual. But that lady keeps saying we're one, but, like, that's... Well, I don't know. What comes after one? Is that three? And he just goes. Trouble pokes him to see if he stops talking, but I don't think he does. Yeah. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I think Qu- Quist is trying to, like, Quist is trying to, like, shove the hand back down <laughs> into the bag. Yeah. And you just hear yeah. a soft murmur, like a mump, like a... <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> okay, we'll have to explain that, too. I yeah, guess. yeah. <laughs> Quist goes, we don't have to. <laughs> hey, also... I want to jump in on the sympathy train. I'm also trying to, like, live up to my family's legacy and do them proud. So, yeah, I got you there, man. Uh, Jonathan Jonathan also says, yep, I feel that. <laughs> that can be tough for sure. Chubb gives a thumbs up. Yep, yep. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about, but let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I do love, this is something I've actually loved about the show, is how we have, since there's so many different ethnicities and, like, family styles, like, but yet also a... <laughs> A theme of like living up to family. Oh, Abil goes. I also understand the importance <laughs> oh. of having your family respect you, and I have failed them. I have failed all of Abil- of the village. Guys, hey. listeners, guys, I promise we didn't forget about Abil this entire fifty minutes. Please believe me, we didn't forget about him this whole time. Oh no! I also am trying to live up to a legacy, oh, but I boy. am a failure. Cause now my whole village has like weird things. Like flying chickens. <laughs> Eloise just kind of pats him. Okay. That's all right. I have to get that out. I am also processing things. Bro, if your metric for failure is screwing up at least once and having bad things happen to your hometown yes. because of it, then like, yes. I mean, I think a lot of us kind of fit that bill, actually. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we do it to other people's hometowns, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Goldon got just... threatened because of me. I know that's not exactly the same thing, but... Yeah, you don't have, like, any any, like, evil like primordial beings like hanging out on the ground here do you because we can find them banus sticks his hand out of the bed <laughs> Quist shoves it back in and like flaps <laughs> close again yeah actually i have just realized our track record is we go into town yep do something silly uh-huh big problems happen in the town of course sometimes we fix it <laughs> sometimes i would kindly we fix ask it. i would kindly ask we don't please can we not follow the pattern I don't as much as I'm annoyed by the people I do not want it to catch on fire have a political <laughs> uprising uh, or have it be threatened by spirits uh Eloise Eloise just kind of looks at Gorg and goes well lead the way <laughs> we'll All do right. our best here we go Night's Quest 2022 sometimes we fix it <laughs> sometimes we fix it <laughs> He oh definitely did God. not fix the beacon. It's still... There was fire. Yeah. Yeah. Also, also, don't... Ooh, don't... Ooh. <laughs> That's... We probably shouldn't mention the fire either. Ooh. Which, I mean, we're not responsible for it, which is nice. But, like, I feel like... <laughs> oh, boy. Quiz, quiz, quiz goes, are we? And he reaches inside Christopher for the book and opens it. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> okay, roll a 20. 
Oh no! Uh, that's a four. So not not super useful information, but not to be too doom and gloom. But I believe one through five was actually like actively harmful, bad information. Uh huh. It's a news announcement. Sorry, can we get that noise one more time? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you open it up, uh-huh. and it is uh, an article from the Beacon Daily. Um, does that track with technology? I, I mean, you would know better than me. I do. They have a printing press. They have lots yeah, of... Yeah, you know what? They have magic. You know what? Now that I think about it, there's no reason to not have newspapers if we have plenty of books everywhere. So, you know what? Forget yeah. that. That was not even <laughs> a relevant thing to say. Newspapers are yeah. harder than books, Jamie. <laughs> Actually, true. That's very true. Is that right? Um, there's, more, just... there's more teamwork involved in a newspaper. Interesting. Okay. Huh. <laughs> it's, okay. I wouldn't know. It's called, yeah. it's called the Beacon Daily. Sub point underneath it, it just says... This is not a daily publication. It's just about the day in the life of the beacon. <laughs> we've we've gotten enough questions about it that we need to print it on every, yeah, it's every like copy. On, it's <laughs> on the issue, yeah. Uh, and it's just got an article saying, oh, you know what? I'll do a news voice because I, I like doing voices for this book. <laughs> Last time on Legend of Korra. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Last time. <laughs> After the terrible fire that struck through the Bawaii, the Mage Guard have been investigating to find the source of the fire. They have located it to be right by the magistrate's room, who has also mysteriously perished. They report that he was possibly poisoned, though the source of the poison cannot be found because his body also was destroyed in the flames. Sources cite that it is likely due to the burned shards. The fringe group of magicians who have left Rillian and joined with the Kingdom of Glenwood. The terror attacks from Glenwood are being investigated, and there is now tension between Rillian and Glenwood, as it seems like this has been a strategic attack against our political leader and religious icon. Though the exact source of the fire, people assume it was a alcohol-soaked tapestry that first caught the blaze, uh, according to some witnesses. How this was done, no one is sure, but all we know is war is potentially on the horizon. After reading all this, okay. Quiz snaps the book closed and goes, Nope, not our fault. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, real quick, now that Katrina and Raish have left the group, is Rainer the only one here who knows that... Leroy knows. Leroy, Leroy knows? knows something was, like, up. He knows something was up. He doesn't know about that the fire. For sure he doesn't know the fire. So um, Rainer might be the only one who knows that Katrina was definitely the one to kill him, and Rainer, like, watched and let it happen. Yeah. Elo- yeah. Eloise, oh boy. Eloise suspects because, like, she knows what Katrina does. True. But I, Very she true. was, like, gone for all that, so, like, I don't even know if it's relevant for her. Yeah. Yeah, Eloise wasn't in the room. She she just knows about the single burn shard. I don't think she's yeah, connected it. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. doesn't even know that anything happened in the beacon. Yeah. Besides something happened. Yeah. Also, it didn't super hit me until now that we may have caused a war, possibly, in the future. We sometimes fix it. We sometimes, sometimes fix, fix it. it. <laughs> we sometimes fix Holy it. Holy shit. What was even the impetus for opening the book just now? What was the question? Uh, I'm pretty sure we didn't cause the fire. Oh, that's we right. We didn't start the fire? <laughs> I mean, we we didn't, <laughs> technically. All right, to my family's house. All right, so Grog leads you uh, down the street, and again... Uh, very quaint. Magistrate too late. Mirjik is in the gate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but we got food on our plate. <laughs> okay, listeners. Challenge. Challenge. This, this is a challenge. I need a full... KQ. Oh, no. Full KQ, we didn't start the fire parody. <laughs> You don't have to sing it. I just want lyrics. I'll sing uh, yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. We'll, we'll sing it. You just write it out. I, who? Oh, that's yep. going to be a lot. Happen. Holy crap. <laughs> this, that would be so good. You arrive at Heinous Slayer's house. Oh, boy. It is, again, it's a quite a, a big space. Yeah. Uh, it's not like a super imposing, oh, wow, a giant manor. But it is, it's like a, I say the word compound, um, just because that's the size I'm thinking of, but it's not like, usually when I think of compounds, I think of cults. It's not that. <laughs> oh, I think of the military, so. Oh, sure, cool, I cool. guess. I'm super jazzed that the first thing you told us about Grog's family is that it's not a cult. <laughs> not a cult. Uh, <laughs> but it's just kind of like that larger space, you know, the, the, it's not like one giant building. There's like a couple, maybe separate buildings, but mm-hmm. they all around one open field, like flat space in the middle with gardens and, and Bay and I and couple of younger kids running around also i realized we've like actually never had kids in the show 
Okay, kids. <laughs> so here's some kids. There's some kid orcs running around playing with a baby brork. Um, so it's only the size of like a large, uh, like chub size. That's still so creepy. I, I maybe creepy is not the right word for that, but there's something very unsettling about like. This isn't a giant monster frog. This is just a dog-sized frog. Like, that almost makes it Jamie, worse. Jamie, are you afraid of frogs? <laughs> Trouble is. No, I, I, in my brain, I'm getting the distinct feeling that I would be if they looked like this, though. <laughs> I, yeah, mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm not afraid of caterpillars. Right. If they were larger than a house, I might be. <laughs> That's sure. what I'm yeah. saying. That's yeah. exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you walk into the center part of this compound... Um, and some of the older kids, probably like teenager age, they're like, Grog is back! Hey, look, Grog, hey, it's Grog, and a bunch of other people with him too, it's Grog. Yeah, and like, a huge orc, like bigger than Grog, <laughs> steps out from one of the doorways and goes, Groggy! <laughs> just runs at him, like full wow. pelt. I'm assuming for a big hug? Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you have a name for this fella yet? Yes. Oh, his, his name's Argo Broadchest. <gasps> Whoa! Hello! Hello, Uncle Broadchest. Yeah, Whoa. it just wraps it, like, lifts him completely up off the ground. <laughs> uh, it's still, you're still as strong as ever. <laughs> yeah, he, like, he like sets him down, uh, like, plops him back down on the ground, and, like, turns and yells back to the, the compound. Everyone, Grogi's back! <laughs> and I think, yeah, just a whole... Army. Uh, like it's, <laughs> yeah, an army. An army of orcs just comes out of <laughs> a very... out of every nook and cranny. <laughs> yeah. A grog? Grog? Oh my gosh, it's Grog! <laughs> I can't believe it's Grog! Yeah, yeah. Every, there's like a few who have like peeled off and have started inspecting the rest of the group now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's an absolute flood and it's just like... A deluge of orcs. Why don't you have a shadow? Where's your shadow? Um, actually, a lot of the kids probably only speak Orcish. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So actually, let's so let's say what they say. It's all gonna be in Orcish. I think even like probably Argo probably greeted him in Orcish. Yes. Yeah. So like the party's not gonna know what's being said. Right. But let's just here's the things that are being said. Like for dramatic your irony. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you have a shadow? One's like, Grog now. Why is, why is this one blue? Why is this fella blue? <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Why is that guy blue? How come how come Grog gets pets? How come Grog gets so many pets and we don't get pets? <laughs> you do get a pet. You've got a you've got a Brog. You've got your own Brog, and I don't have one yet. I get to ride the Brog because I do chores with the Brog. <laughs> And I think, like, one of the aunts, she's like, Everyone, calm down. Now I'm trying to get this pink schmutz off your face there, oh, bro. No. <laughs> it's not coming off. She's doing the, the, like, licking her fingers and, like, smudging his face. There's, like, two or three orcs that are, like, fucking with jo- uh, Jonathan's hat, like, the bells and everything on it. And Grilta, is this normal? Are we being are we being attacked? <laughs> Gril- Grilta? <laughs> yeah, Raider Grilta. draws his shield. <laughs> <laughs> I think Grilta, she is also in it because people are like, Yo, are you a surgeon general? I can see it on your patch. I look at this fine lady. Oh my god, I think she's a surgeon general. <laughs> she's going from person to person. We're one. We're one. <laughs> we're one. one. We're one. Yes, <laughs> we're one. Oh my goodness. Uh, Miss Broadchest, tree knower, nice to meet you. Uh, pointy stick, nice to see you. I've heard about you. <laughs> <laughs> What's pointy the aunt's stick. name? I want one of the aunts to have a name. The one who's wiping the schmutz off. I'm trying to, at least. What if she's like a... She makes pottery. Philia wheel spinner. Oh, okay. Ooh, wheel spinner. Like, like throwing clay on a wheel. Yeah, yeah. Yep, wheel spinner it is. And he's like, oh, wheel spinner, please. It's not going to come off. That's just that's just how it is. And then <laughs> Rilta goes, we are one. 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 Hello. Nice to meet you. We are one. I think Eloise has like entered into an unintentional tug of war with some of the younger ones with oh, her no. meteor hammer. Um... <laughs> Because, like, I, I think she knows that it's not, like, malicious, but A, she doesn't want to lose it, and B, like, it is a weapon, and so yeah, she's trying yeah. to, like, wrestle it back to no <laughs> avail, because she's very yeah. small. Yeah, I think uh, Grog goes, everybody, everybody, my friends, my friends here don't speak Orcish, they have no idea what's saying. If we could practice their language, I know y'all have been working on it. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure, yeah. If they're going to talk in the character's language, it has to be, like, broken English, I think is what it has to be, because they're they're all working on it. All of them? Not all of them, but, like, some of them can be. Sure, sure. The younger teenage one with the nasally voice looks at the group, and he very confidently says, Hell! (laughs) (laughs) No. Yeah, another one, another one goes, another one goes, 
burn the books. <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, no, Because that's the first thing you learn in another language is the swears. The first thing. <laughs> the nasally one, I'm going to say he doesn't have his like full name. He's like, part, part. No, no, no. You got to. <laughs> Wait, Hello. part? Part, yep. Part. This poor child. Oh burn my the God. books. Burn the books. <laughs> Nep- nephew part. He's his nephew. Nephew part. It's hello. Oh my goodness. Hello. Everyone say it with me. Hello. 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 <laughs> it's hello. my favorite cereal. Hellos. Hold on, guys. <laughs> I think I can make it easier. <laughs> I was able to pick up Tarivian so quickly. What? Oh my god, that's what? right. I think Wait. I I think I've mastered Orcish too. Oh no. Please don't. <laughs> oh no. Please please, please do. Please do. <laughs> okay. So if Terevian was just you put a shmeh sound in front of it, <laughs> then Orcish is obviously there's a lot of gur sounds. Oh, so you no. just you just do that. Grello. Oh boy, okay. Rygram Greloy. All the orcs are like, uh, what's he saying? Is he all right? (laughs) Yeah, you can ignore that one. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) But it was said in orcish, so Leroy didn't hear. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming, (laughs) yeah, if we we talk like that, it's going to be like in orcish. It's like, yeah, um, I mean, he's great. Love him to bits. Just give him some bread. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of the one of the family members like peels off towards a building that has like, um, like a like a chimney coming out of the yeah, top yeah. of it. Something's like already being made. And, like give us a, gives a thumbs up and heads over to the kitchen to grab. Oh, actually, some I think we have a name for that person too. Um, I do think <laughs> we have a. Oh, do we? Bayazar. Whoa. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that was Lauren suggested it. Brett Bayazar stomach filler. <laughs> and he's a cousin. Yep. So anyway, Bayazar goes to get some. Thank you, Lauren, for that name on Patreon Discord. Nice. nice. Anyway, so you get some bread for Leroy, and Leroy's like, I did it! Oh my god. Leroy, um, Leroy, how did you get to be so good at languages? I would love to know your process. It's, uh, you know, you really just gotta listen, you got, it's a lot of listening, and then talking. <laughs> really, that's it. That's how you do a language. You know, he's, he's right. The kid one points at Leroy and exclaims very brightly, Part? Part, part, yes, thank you. Uh, exclaims, Greroy! Because that's, that's what he called himself. Yes, he does. He's like, Greeroy. Gress. Gree Greeloy. <laughs> he he didn't he didn't have more to say. He's Actually, just really I think he delighted. said Greeloy. Yeah. I think he, he said, said Greeloy, yeah. Yeah, he <laughs> said Greeloy. Yeah, and and, and yeah. Quiz goes and Quiz goes Grand Grime Griff. Okay, uh, he does say Quiz. <laughs> that isn't that isn't Orcish. Don't tell Leroy, but that's not how it works. Oh, I know what the kids are gonna say. Part is trying to think of how uh, uh, what words he needs for this next question, and he points and he says, "What the the, the in bag? Oh, the bag! <laughs> <laughs> Just some stuff." Quest goes, oh, and like immediately begins to like start to open it. Gorg goes for the bag. Um, is is Chris going to try and open the bag no matter what? Uh, no. Okay, because if he was, then we would do a dice roll because we haven't rolled any dice this episode. He, he just likes, he's like, no, no, yeah, yeah. some, just travel stuff, travel stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's just boring um, supplies and things like that. If you guys say so. I didn't. Th- I thought it was kind of interesting, but. Well, tell him, <laughs> just not now, please. I guess, not now. guess it's boring. All right. <laughs> Anything but that right now. Actually, Quiz, can you have an active hand on the lid of that bag to make sure Quiz- Christopher doesn't open up? Uh, Quist puts a hand on top of the flap and starts moving it around and, like, rushing the top of the bag and moving it and moving it. Uh, you hear it. A- you hear a purring? <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Purring inside. Yeah, Quist yeah. is excited about that. Yeah, oh, okay. that's cool. That's a new development. It's, it's, except a purring like a... <sighs> yeah, sure. Hey, listeners, everyone who was wondering if we would get a new pet in this season, <laughs> we did. <laughs> it's the spirit penis. <laughs> oh, boy. It's I not think, what anybody um, expected. Aunt Wheel Spinner <laughs> says, uh, how, how Journey was... How journey was long. Need rest. <laughs> yeah, Jonathan turns to Grog and says, "Oh yeah, I. I mean, how long has it been, man? How long has it been since you've been back? Oh, since I've like left, left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been, uh, couple years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, how long had it been since before you got the gold on? I mean, Hidgety. About a year and a half, maybe. Dang. Wow. It's been about two years. 
So you've been traveling longer than we have. <laughs> yeah, I guess it has been a long, long time. And I think Grog does, he does kind of smile like seeing this hectic, chaotic family. Yes. Um, but he does smile and he's like, and he says, he says in Orkish, I've, I've missed you guys. <laughs> I've missed you guys. Uh, Will Spear says, so, t- t- in Orkish, tell us, uh, who's the, who's the lady? Who's the lady? <laughs> She's pointing at um, Grilta. Did you get a name? How's your status? <laughs> What's going on? Jonathan takes a gorf ball out of his bag. <gasps> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had a gorf ball? Sure. Yeah, Jonathan's always got a gorf ball on him. He just <laughs> hasn't, come, hasn't had much time. Sure. Uh, Jonathan, like, turns to all the, the young ones and, like, tosses it up and down a few times to get their attention and goes, Yep. This is a golf ball, and you play with it. Golf ball. And he immediately, like, <laughs> thinks to himself, like, there's no way I'm going to be able to explain all the rules. Uh, and so he just, like, holds it up in the air and chucks it. <laughs> uh, I think... <laughs> Uh, make a, <laughs> please make an accuracy roll for me. Nice, nice. Difficulty two. A failure with advantage. Oh, okay. Perfect. Uh, so the failure is, um, you're able to like throw it. Like you're not like, you don't just drop the ball, but the failure is going to be that the small Brorg shoots oh, his no. tongue out <gasps> and gets the ball. Whoa. Um, and so like has the ball in his mouth, <laughs> but the advantage is that the kids love it. Oh, yeah. For the sure. Kid, the kids are into it. So they're like, now instead of playing with Eloise's uh, meteor hammer, now they're all trying to get the ball back from the Brorg. Parnt completely misunderstands what Jonathan said, and he, he, he waves at him and he brightly says, I'm Parnt. Thank you, Gorfball. Like he thinks that's your name. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Jonathan goes, uh, it's not. A- uh, you know what? Never mind. You're a sweet kid. <laughs> And so I think the kids are now all like running and like stretching the tongue out, like comedically trying to get because it's like stuck to the tongue. And they're like, come on, let go, come on. Eloise, while she's trying to like coil back up her like meteor hammer, she sees from behind the party, there is a, an orc that's about the same size and build as Grog, who's like sneaking, sneaking up to the group. Oh, and, okay. and when the, the orc like sees Eloise, he like puts a finger to his lips. <laughs> <laughs> and so Eloise is like, Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, jumps at Grog from behind and, like, like gra- like puts him in a full Nelson. Oh. Sure, sure. Um, <laughs> is this a... Oh, this should be a brother. Yes. It should be a sibling. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, so, Grog is going to roll. I'm going to have him make a roll. Grog is making a roll to see if he can break out of this... <laughs> full Nelson, I guess. <laughs> to see if he can overcome this friendly noogie. This yeah. is a... This would be a... Fortitude roll. How strong do you think this person is? What's your, what do you think the difficulty will be? Um, I'd say difficulty two. I mean, it's not a fight to the death, you know. Okay. Right, right. Success two disadvantages. Ooh. So oh, he okay. breaks out of the hold, but then I think it, it was it took a little longer than it should have. Maybe that was the disadvantage. <laughs> or he breaks out of the hold, uh, but he picks up his leg and tips him over or something instead. You know, like it, it continues. Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, there's another. There's now another fold, and so Grog says, "Oh." I should have known. <laughs> What's his brother's name? Uh, his brother's name is Greep. Ooh, okay. Heart Stabber. Oh my god. That see, that sounds like a name that I would say was badass when I was in like elementary school. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe he's like Greep. Um, no, no. I I think that makes it better. Like the fact that it's kind of really silly. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm heart into it. Stabber. Yeah, he's, he's a like, heart stabber. Oh, heart stabber. Oh, you got me again. Can you, uh, <laughs> can you let me down, brother? <laughs> <laughs> brother, brother. brother. I don't think he puts him down. He doesn't put him down. Oh, absolutely not. Oh, is he lifting him up in the air or something? Yeah, he, like, he broke oh, on the hold, but then he grabbed him by his leg and is, like, holding him up. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, uh, he says, um, I would have expected for how long you stayed away, you'd be able to get out of a simple leg hold. I hope the name you got while you were away wasn't uh, Fight Winner, because that's certainly not <laughs> correct. <laughs> and so I think we've got this scene where the kids are trying to get the, yeah, yeah. the ball back. Grog is being hung up by his brother. The rest of the orcs are still, like, pestering the party. Oh, yeah. Because, like, 
and they're trying their best to speak in your language. Yeah, yeah, it's like the like, woman who was who was asking us how our journey's been and if we need rest and stuff. And poor Raider yeah. is desperately trying to figure out what they're talking about. And she'll be like, um, I'm, I'm munching, munching, uh, chew, 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 chew. Uh, uh, yes, um, Randall. Rand- Randall. <laughs> Everyone's like, Randall, Randall. And Grilta's also trying to, like, Doesn't translate clear up as the well. question at all. <laughs> and, yeah, she's like, so, like, this guy's blue. Um, I'm not quite sure what, but he just is blue. And, like, someone is just, like. <laughs> Jonathan's like, yeah, we did that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A couple of the cousins are just, like, everything about Jonathan's just, just oh, yeah. can't stop staring and, like, admiring everything. So all this is going on. It's loud. It's rambunctious. But then all of a sudden you hear, uh, quiet and everyone's quiet and it was in orcish but everyone even even our party gets the tone of what was said right right and coming out from one of the buildings is the second tallest orc you've ever seen (laughs) (laughs) good good catch there yeah yeah (laughs) thank you uh he is probably like seven and a half feet tall oh yeah so over over two meters he is absolutely just ripped just shredded <laughs> he is jacked he is toned i mean he, this guy is is got muscles for days and he comes strutting out he's got his tusks seem to be you know even longer than the average orc tusk he's got three magnificent long braids coming off the off his head and you can tell he's got a cloak too that is this deep sleek black Ooh. that he's got that kind of shimmers a little bit uh as well it's just very sleek and matte and he comes walking out and the cloak has a has a long tail on it as well that's just poised enough so it's not dragging on the ground and he comes out and he looks at kind of the chaos and he's got you know a little bit of a grimace but then he sees grog in the middle and you see just this big toothy smile as he smiles and he says welcome home son Hey, Questies, it's me, Nathan. Thank you so much for listening to episode 27 of season 3. Let's get down to business, shall we? If you're enjoying what you're listening to, here's some further options for you. You can A, leave us a kind review. B, hand over to kqpodcast.com where you could then B, sub point one, support us on Patreon where we've got B, sub point one, sub point, uh, lowercase a, Oh, this is going to get confusing. Uh, <laughs> if you support us on Patreon, we got all things like a fun Discord. We got bonus episode content. We got exclusive stickers, discount codes for the merch store, which new merch is coming soon. Stay posted for that. And of course, thank you to all of you who are already supporting us on Patreon. And a big thank you to our better tier patrons, Lauren Grace, those dang high elves again, Mike and Lowell. Long may he reign. Thank you for your incredible support. Also, we are on the website. We got the said merch store. Look at the available stuff there. Look at the music Jamie has made that you can listen to and or buy for very cheap price. All that on the website. You can sub point. Okay, back to the main sub points. Sub point C. You could yeah, check out some of our social medias. We're on Instagram, kind of. Facebook, a little bit more. Reddit, r slash Night's Quest Podcast. Come on. I love the memes. I love seeing new people hopping over there. I see you guys. I see all of them. And I love them. Thank you so much. There's lots of ways for you to engage in the show. And of course, sub point D, tell a friend about the show. Again, we, we love we love new people experiencing Night's Quest. And things are ramping up to be pretty good. We're about to record another one. Like right after I'm recording this this little announcement blurb, we're going to record an episode. And let me just tell you kids, let me just tell you, tell your friends, it's getting good. It's getting spicy. And we've got some great plans for the rest of season three that I think is going to tell an awesome story. And you want your friends to participate in that, don't you? You don't? Well, you're selfish. You're greedy. Oh, you did. Oh, you do want that. Well, good. You're a good friend. Thank, good. Thank, so considerate. 
you're thinking of other people. I love that. Uh, but yeah, that's all we got. Next episode is going to be on February 25th. We'll see you all then. May your place in his story be long. Bezar. I just like Crustman. Crustman? Crustman. Does he also not shower? Oh, gross. No. <laughs> I wish you hadn't said that. <laughs> Let's go with stomach filler. Stomach oh, okay. filler it is. <sighs> Bezar stomach filler.